In Tableau 2020.2, Tableau have improved the quality of life when it comes to exporting data from a cross tab on Tableau server or Tableau online. Let's take a look and see how that's done. Right now I'm looking at the Superstore workbook. I uploaded this earlier on in one of my other videos about workbook upload. I actually uploaded this from my desktop directly to Tableau server. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into the overview view. <laughs> overview view, that's a bit of a tongue twister. But anyway, we're here in this view. And what typically used to happen, let's say I wanted to download some data from this particular view. I'd hit download and you'd see here that the cross tab option would be grayed out a bit like my data. And it kind of made it confusing because for most people, they weren't aware that what they needed to do was to first select a chart before hitting the cross tab option. So if I just show you that with this data option, what you used to have to do is to actually click on the chart. You get no feedback on the screen to say that you've clicked that then hit download and then you can see here that the data option is available for me to click. What Tableau have done is they've actually made that much, much easier now. So if I just hit download, I don't have to have selected anything and then I select cross tab, I actually get this interface to choose the sheet that I want to download the data from. Now, this is really important if you're a dashboard author, because if the user sees this and like me, you're a bit lazy with naming your sheets, this is just going to say sheet one, sheet two, sheet 150, sheet 35, and so on and so forth. So you must, 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 must name your sheets accordingly. Otherwise, this is going to look awful for the user. But anyway, here I am, I've selected the second sheet here, sales by product uh, category, which is this chart we can just see here. I'm gonna hit download and it will download an Excel file. You'll see it here. Um, it's actually a CSV file and then I'll open it in Excel and this is exactly what you get to see. It's actually done some um, formatting for negative values here. So you can see those right out of the gate. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's the feature in a nutshell. It's just a quality of life improvement for a feature that already existed. If you found this video useful, hit the like button or hit subscribe. If not, drop a comment below. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see instead. I'll catch you in the next one.